and and that's that's what that's a huge point right there that the viewer can benefit a lot from because uh, I just he seemed he mentioned it he, the one key point is that chest keeps moving club face is stable ball stays straight. Was there any part of your game that you were a little bit, that you thought could have been better? One day that I didn't drive it as well, mm -hmm. that was about it. It's one way, then I get a little, like, tentative. Oh, hey, dude, look what we got. Check these out. Mr. Madison coming through. A sneak peek to the new training aid, not even out yet. So freaking simple. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. Five inches of the backstroke could be dead straight before it arcs anyways. So what do we do? We put the five inches back there. Put the nine inches for starting line that regardless of what putt, it's going to be running in a straight line. Yeah, that was pretty dope watching that happen. Gabe, you've seen us roll the prototype with a couple of players. It's unbelievable, right? Oh, yeah. The simplicity in this. I think it's the best one. All right, but this is yours, by the way. It's like the only thing that... That you guys have, yeah, yeah. That, right, that would be different. <laughs> I played with Ben yesterday. Yeah, Benny's hysterical, dude. How's he doing? Growing up a little bit. I know. Kind of hit puberty. I know, for sure. At least like half of it. Half <laughs> mm. Jesus, dude. What if it was just a YouTube video the entire time of me going, mm, the whole time after every swing? And then just like, with the one comment like, that always comes out, like, Jesus, dude, thanks. Gosh, I mean, the, edu the education today might not come from my words. Just watch. <laughs> Look at this. So we're we're thinking about getting a, we're getting a boat. I mean, it's a big deal today. It's not just. I mean, we're obviously getting better, but we're getting a boat on on uh, Monday to go slay these huge tuna off the coast. And Pity is on the other end here, going, "This guy's pretty much locked and loaded." He goes. I just need to make sure you can find the fish. There's no guarantee. You could be driving around out there for 12 hours and get nothing. It's fishing. It's not Cameron Sisk on the golf course. I <laughs> love that. All right, what are you gonna pull out there? Perfect, all right. Man, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Just like anything there would be to say, it would just be inventing something. I mean, dude, it's just like it got so good. <laughs> what was like? I mean, it's just everything about the top of the swing and everything. So money, Cam. Gosh, dude. Come here. So how many years ago is this? Is this two and a half now? Two? Three? Two. Yeah. Like this is you kind of blacked out just after getting off a plane from the British Amateur? Mm-hmm. So we're talking about what Cam was talking about. Like just muscle, muscle tone and stuff like that. You know, just you're not going to ever be that flat again. But watch this. It's not going to be that far off. Watch how that beautiful takeaway always stays a constant. Pushing away. Handle going up the forearm. I love this though. This is the checkpoint that I was hitting for you that I wasn't seeing all, all year. Mm. But you got back, was at that point right there, your hands would sometimes get up on this shoulder right there. Yeah. And now they're still, you know, they're still intersecting this. Absolutely. Right Look at that. Oh, dude. This is just a guy who's stronger and just gonna hit it farther, you know? Just built different. Just built different. <laughs> but watch this. I'm not gonna lie, this is always fun, fun to watch. What I notice now though, you just get more engaged in the downswing. More, boom, right on top of it. I mean, it's a six iron, I'm never gonna be like. No, it's gonna be that's like that, it's a pitching wedge, wedge right? Knockdown. Knock down. So, I mean, it's just gonna be, that's so money right there. And just, I mean, you really can't change anything about that because it's perfect. Watch this all the way through.
I mean, the big thing is you've worked really hard to get, we've used that video as a reference though, not because it's something he needed to get back to, just because it's something to look at and say, hey, if we needed more of that coming from, if anything this year, right, it would get up a little bit vertical, the club would get a little bit over, and then you just had to do more. Uh, it almost like yeah, the shallowing motion had to come like this, right? Well, now it's great because now you're on that plane where you just stay down, which is what I noticed the most about the last like few months here. You're just over the ball better. Chest down, just over the ball, hitting it great. You hear the sound off that turf. Um, the cool thing was how to get there. I agree with you. I mean, these are. it's kind of nice that you went through a little bit because you've really never struggled with your swing ever. And even then, it wasn't really a struggle. It wasn't as good as it always has been. And this was the thing that really I thought when you were sending me videos of you doing that, got you out of it just because it could dictate you know you, you, you were taking care of the set and then you just turn and um honest to god it's just you stick when you see someone work like that you stick with that feeling um there's nothing i would change about that swing though cameron nothing good lesson for the viewer <laughs> not every lesson has to be a swing change it can just be uh working on hitting shots doing some things out here being creative don't fix what's not broken. Uh, you've been good, you know, all, all the flighted shots as usual? Still good? Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> hey, just because you're one of the best I've seen at it, like, like controlling ball flight and stuff, I just, that's why I love being in the bag. Like at Merida, it was so much fun. The conditions were so bad, and this guy was just flighting shots all over the course. Can you just run? Can you just run me through, like run us through, like what you do when you just hit that shot? Um, I think I mean the tendency when you're trying to knock down shots is usually guys will decelerate and pull shots. Mm -hmm. So what I think, so I have a ten yard off and a five yard off swing, and I know where those stop. And I don't change any acceleration or anything, but that just takes yardage off for me. And I'll just, my main focus is just to keep my chest moving through the ball. Because if I stop my chest with a shorter swing, but trying to keep the same acceleration, I'm just going to dead, I'm just going to pull it or wipe it or something. So keeping my chest connected and keeping my chest moving through the target is probably the biggest thing for me. You see, uh, remember, remember Johnny Miller would be on, on, on the air all the time and that guy would have that shot into the green. It was that like in-betweener yeah. pitching wedge to nine iron. The guy would take the nine left. And it's exactly what Cam said. People typically don't change the length of their swing. And what they do is they then, their mind goes, wait, that's too much. They stall out, hands past their body, and the club face just turns a little bit for a better player. Oftentimes shut it down a little long left. So that what Cam said is huge. And, and that's, that's a big lesson. You know, Gabe and I are always out here relating wedges to, to you know, we, to, we find that we do a lot of wedge lessons. And then the work with wedges helps the swing. That's why Cam's such a great wedge player. Same theory, like you're not necessarily dinking a 30 yarder yeah. and then hitting a 40 yarder harder you're just taking it back a different distance and and that's that's what that's a huge point right there that the viewer can benefit a lot from because uh, i just he seemed he mentioned it he, the one key point is that chest keeps moving club face is stable ball stays straight can deal with a little bit shove i can bring a six iron i can even hit a six iron about 150 yards you know just by bringing my my arm up to parallel but i if, as long as i keep my chest moving still gonna hit it solid oh that's so beautiful and Gabe's got that face again <laughs> same thing like even the you know I can turn as hard as I want but the club head never needs to flip over I can just keep my chest moving through and I can do that hold off finish that I always had back to Cameron's point here one of the cool things and this is good even for Cam and like what he said um uh, 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 it, it's not only a distance drill on tour that I've seen guys do, but also, you know, club face stabilization and uh, connection. And that's just, you know, taking a golf swing, stopping it at literally pocket high, and then rotating through and hitting it, right? And the ability to hit that ball straight and as far as I just did from a stop still position right here, you know, that's just pure connection, moving that golf club through impact. And people see that shot, look at the face, you know, no rotation. So what's funny is, the only thing the golfer needs to be reminded of typically who's already has the what they need to do do it shorter shorter <laughs> shorter more of this less of this just right out in front of you right so i mean people can just benefit from just turning having their arms right out in front of their chest hitting little shots from there 
if you've never felt what connection feels like, that's the best way to guarantee it for sure. So, I mean, this is the epitome of connection and what we teach. So it's great for a viewer to get an eye on this golf swing. That's the problem when he comes for a lesson. It's like my buddy showing up. All I want to do is hang out. <laughs> Look at this guy. I just want to talk and be like, what's up, dude? Like, how we doing? <laughs> The one thing that I'm jealous of right now in your life, bro, and I remember, you know, getting, but it, it was really a cool thing to go through it with, uh, with Bo a little bit was the, uh, the amateur golf tour schedule. It's just so sick. Like this, the courses you guys play and just the events and those, oh. So what's next, Cam? Uh, I played the Southern Am. Okay, where's that, where's that gonna be located this year? Waverly. Oh, sweet, Old Waverly. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. Was Blair with you the day you shot 60, 59? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I was playing good. He just, he's like, he's like, I'm a, he's like, I'm intimidated by Cam. That's what he said. <laughs> Dude, it sucks. It sucks when you're on a tee box with somebody and you know, like, I have to hit this ball straight, and this guy's probably going to. <laughs> I. Oh, you know what would be a great question for you? I know the answer to it, but I'm sure a lot of people don't. I, I know because I know your game, but this is a good one. 17th tee, national championship. Oh. Why lay up? I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just curious. If I yeah. hit that ball in the fairway, Yep. I have like 100 yards and... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I was the best wedge player on the course right there. So, and like that, everyone thinks that's like auto driver, but like with the pin location back right where Quaid hit his ball, I mean, if he goes another yard up into the rough, his up and down is almost impossible. But it came up on the fringe, came back onto the green where hitting that green, you're probably going to hit the green maybe like three out of 15 times, mm -hmm. maybe. Um, and you know, I had to go first, so I'm not sure if he would have hit driver if I, you know, missed the fairway. I, you know, hit a bad tee shot off the fairway or off the tee with the four iron, um, put me in the rough. But but you were you were leading off on that one, right? Yeah. So I, that's exact. So you know, because because of course, you know, I so I get the question right, and I'll never forget. I was actually I was uh, I was in the Bahamas. I was in Atlantis. I had him in the in the in the room, uh, the uh, the uh, sports booking room. And I asked one of the guys. I'm like, yo, dude golf channel <laughs> and he put it on and I'm sitting there watching it and I get the text message whoa why is he not here and I go guys 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 he's leading off Kim's gonna if he hits that fairway first of all key right hits a fairway we got the best wedge player arguably on the golf course and in the country uh, hit, 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 hitting that next shot and Quaid hey no disrespect to him great golfer playing great that day yeah, he played amazing, but dude. driver I mean hey and if I'm the guy who's teeing off, putting my forearm in there, I am praying that you're hitting driver. Not only that, if he lays up to play to, to Cameron's game, wonderful. Because now we have, not saying Quaid's not a great wedge player, but we have Cam's wedge game against someone else's, which I put up against anybody, right? So I actually was like, when you pulled the iron out, the reason why I wanted you to answer that is because that's the answer I gave. And I thought, I actually really like the play. Because I thought, man, fairway, pressure on this guy. He miss hits that drive, we're going to 18, you know, and that's where, um, you know, but hey, you got to give the guy props. He had a golf shot that won it, you know, so it's just, but uh, the good news is Cam didn't hit a golf shot right away that lost it. And I think that's a key too. It's beautiful. version so pretty dude I mean hey do you have any is there, like, is there ever like a shot in golf like is there one shot that you would say like dude I wish I could just hit that better even around the green or something like that just a drive if I have like a a right to left wind with the driver or even a left to right wind where I could like trust that I could just rip it from the inside and have it like start online beautiful let's go tee it up back here let's get it let's go uh I get like a little steep on the downswing and then kind of okay. hold it off. 
I got you, buddy. Yeah. I got you. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.